and welcome back to Storytime with Miss Walters. Hopefully you've been having a really productive day. I know I definitely have. I have got a lovely story for us today. It is Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs. I wonder if you know who the author of this story is. That's right, it's Ian Wybrow. And if Ian Wybrow is the author, then who, oh, who is the illustrator? Well done, it's Adrian Reynolds. So today, I hope you really enjoyed listening to Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs. And I will start that right now for you. Ready? <clears throat> Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs. Nan thought the attic needed to clear out. She let Harry help. Harry found an old box, all grey with dust. He lifted the lid. Dinosaurs! Harry took the dinosaurs downstairs. He unbent the bent ones. He fixed all the broken ones. He got up on a chair and washed them in the sink. Nan came to see and say, Just what do you think you're up to? Dinosaurs don't like boxes, Harry said. They want to be in a bucket. And look, there he is, putting his dinosaurs in the bucket after washing them. Do you think he's just running them under the water really quickly like this? Or do you think he's really washing them with lots of soap and water to make sure they're nice and clean? I think so too. Sam came in from watching TV. She said it was silly fussing over so much junk. Dinosaurs aren't junk, Harry said. The next day, Harry went to the library with Mum. He took the dinosaurs in their bucket. He found out all the names in a book and told them to the dinosaurs. He spoke softly to each one. He whispered, You are my Scalidosaurus, you are my Stegosaurus, and you are my Triceratops. And there were enough names for all the Apatosauruses and Ankyosauruses and Tyrannosauruses. The dinosaurs said, Thank you, Harry. Just loudly enough for Harry to hear. There he is in the library. Why are they all being so quiet in the library? That's right, because libraries are a place where we learn and we're respectful of people's learning by being really After that, the dinosaurs went everywhere in Harry's bucket. They went shopping, they went to the garden centre, they went to the beach. When Harry had a bath, the dinosaurs had a bath. And look, there they are having all of those adventures. When Harry went to bed, the dinosaurs went to bed. They look very snug. Sometimes they got left behind, but they never got lost for long because Harry knew all their names and he always called out their names just to make sure that they were safe. Ah, oh, I think he's after the chocolate. Mm. One day, Harry went on a train with Nan. He was so excited, he forgot all about the bucket. Nan dried his eyes. Oh, never mind, she said. I'll buy you a nice new video. Why is he crying? That's right. Harry is crying because he's feeling really sad that he's forgotten his dinosaurs on the train. And now the train is leaving without him. So he might not get them back. And Nan said she'll buy him a nice new video. But he's still sad that he's lost his dinosaurs. 
Mm. Harry watched the DVD with Sam. It was nice, but not like the dinosaurs. At bedtime, Harry said to Mum, I like DVDs, but I like my dinosaurs better because you can fix them, you can bath them, and you can take them to bed. And best of all, you can say their names. Poor Harry. How's he feeling? Really upset. Harry was still upset at breakfast next morning. Sam said, dust your junk. That was why Sam's book got milk on it. Nan took Harry to his room to settle down. Later, Nan took Harry back to the train station to see the lost property man. And the man said, Dinosaurs? Yes, we have found some dinosaurs. But how do we know that they are your dinosaurs? Harry said, I will close my eyes and call their names and then you will know. Ready? And Harry closed his eyes and called out their names. Come back, my Scalidosaurus! Come back, my Stegosaurus! Come back, my Triceratops! He called, Come back! to the Apatosauruses and the Anchisauruses. <clears throat> and the Trionosauruses, and all the lost old dinosaurs. And when he opened his eyes, there they were, all of them, standing on the counter next to the bucket. All correct, said the man. These are definitely your dinosaurs. Definitely. And the dinosaurs whispered. They whispered very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. They said, you are definitely our Harry. Definitely. Oh, look at them. Giving him some dinosaur kisses. Oh, they look so, so happy to be back with their Harry. Going home from the station, Harry held the bucket very tight. Nan said to the neighbour, Oh, well, Harry likes those old dinosaurs. Definitely, whispered Harry. And my dinosaurs definitely like me. Endosaurus. There are all of the dinosaurs in here. And look, I said Anchisaurus, but it's actually Anchisaurus. Oh. Oopsies. Well, I know for next time. Well, everyone, I really hope you have enjoyed reading Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs with me and that you've been doing lots and lots of practicing and reading every day as well. I can't wait to see how amazing your reading is when we go back to school. So keep practicing and I will see you tomorrow for another story. Bye, everyone.